The thing I love about handgun hunting is the challenge. Well, it's simply more difficult. And Mike, when you're using something like this, a revolver where it has less power than a rifle, you need good ammo. That's right. The ammo is the only thing that hits the target when you pull a trigger. Good point. And so you really need to, to put a little more thought into it. You need something that's consistent. Our uh, handgun line is all hand checked. Uh, you need something uh, that's loaded up with a little more heat. Well, and you load them right to the maximum safe level. That's right. So you can, if you know what caliber you're going to use, you know if you uh, buy some of our ammunition that you're going to get something that's loaded up to the maximum safe potential. But you're loading different kind of bullets. So what are our choices here? We have three different types of our ammunition. We've got uh, the hard cast solid, uh, which it uses the uh, hard cast lead. For deep penetration. Deep penetration with a wide flat nose on it. Okay. Uh, you've got a lead free using the Barnes bullets. Mm -hmm. And that's specifically uh, for the people that need lead free ammunition and like the lighter bullet that penetrates deep. So you've got a, a, a light damage. bullet going fast, but you still get deep penetration. That's there. right. Yeah, it penetrates a lot deeper than it should. It's really cool. <laughs> okay. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then we've got uh, a lot of our lineup uses uh, a nozzle bullet that uh, is a cu standard cup and core, right. um, but they're heavy for caliber. And so what you get is a deeper penetrating but quickly expanding round, and it really does a good job on game. Huh. Now, you've also got a sleeper in here. You got, it's marked defense ammo, but you said this is actually good for hunting. That's right. What you're holding is the equalizer rounds, and they have two projectiles in them. Uh, they're both heavyweights, and right. they both are really uh, killers on, on game. In Fort Fork of Sewell and 500, they're excellent for uh, handgun hunting. All right, talk me through the lineup you have here quickly here. Okay, I've got 357 Magnum, 38s, uh, 40s and 10 millimeters. I got 41 Magnums, uh, 44 Casuals, 45 Colts, and 500 Smith and Wessons. <laughs> That's a heck of a lineup. It's the DT Hunter line from Double Tap Ammo. Okay, so I'm getting ready to fire some of this Double Tap Hunter ammunition. Now these are hard cast bullets designed for hunting, and hunting is about penetration. If you were going to shoot a hog or something heavy, that's the kind of bullet you want. So down range, we've got two sets of ballistic gelatin. Now the first one's already been shot, but the one behind it's clean. I'm hoping we're going to catch the bullet in that second block. So let's see what happens when we load some of this up and shoot it. Well, let's go down range, see what it did. Well, it looks like a decent hit, and that sucker is gone. Long haul, probably about 30 inches of ballistic gelatin. Mike said that these bullets were designed to penetrate. That's why they're called hunting bullets. And I would say that Mike is right. Double tap hard cast, hard to beat.